Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, which is actually my first tutorial ever on using a conical tapered cone clip, I don't, whatever you want to call this, curling iron. Um, this one is tapered. It is a conical, I mean, whatever, whatever you want to call it. You get me. When you've seen my hair curled lately, it's not with this. I don't think I've ever even worn this curled like this on a video. Um, curled with that iron. I have been using a large curling iron, like one with an actual clamp, like a traditional curling iron, to get the curls that I've been wearing recently. And I will do um, a tutorial on how to do that with like sort of mid-length hair like I have now. I'll do one of those soon, but I'll give it some time. But yeah, it's really easy. It gives you sort of a waved, like, um, I would say these are more like tighter waves. I'll show you how I did it, obviously, with my hair being shorter than it has been. I have actually been loving it. I was really indifferent about it over the last few weeks. Um, I really liked it when I first got it done, and then, like, last week I was just, like, not feeling it. But it's fun. I like it. It feels good. It's shorter. Um, of course, I'm going to probably grow it out again. Um, I really love my hair being this color, though. I was just so over the long blonde. It was just boring. I just had been done too long. It's fun when you do something different, but it can be really frustrating trying to learn how to style it all over again. You wouldn't think a couple of inches matter, but they totally do. I think I said that in the last video, but it's crazy um, just how different it behaves and stuff. Uh, so yeah, my hair is very hard to hold curl, very thin, very fine, very straight hair texture. So if this works for me, it will definitely work for you. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you everything that you need for this. Okay, so to start, what I like to do with this, which is a little different, um, I start with clean or second day hair, whatever. This is clean hair. I just dried it a few minutes ago. Um, and because with the conical iron, I don't know why, but I don't spray each individual um, piece with uh, protectant spray or curling spray. I do use a heat protectant though, and I, I just use it differently. Um, but just always make sure, and I do this anyways when my hair's wet. If you know you're going to curl your hair like this, which is always a good idea if you're going to curl it regardless of what you're going to curl it with, use a product that has a bit of a heat protectant, and I use this Hemp uh, Color Hold Thickening Compound by Alterna. Um, I'll talk about that more as I curl it because I thought it was discontinued, but then I emailed them and they said oh, it's just a big mess. Um, so that kind of gives a little bit of um, a little bit of texture. It helps. It really does. I mean, I can tell such a big difference when I use that. And it has a bit of a heat protectant as well. Uh, but then, right before I curl it, I use the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. And this is a thermal protection hairspray, it says. And it really helps retain the curls, too. So what I like to do with this, and I'm cringing having to spray it in here. I should go out and spray it in the bathroom. I didn't want to set the camera up in there because it's just crazy, but um, I'll just kind of show you lightly just spray it through your hair and then get the um all the underside get the layers it's gonna feel a little crunchy but that's okay shouldn't feel wet or anything because you don't want to put a whole ton and just keep going and then just get a little bit at the roots not so much in this okay then what I like to do is just give it a quick brush and then I clip it back. I like to part it fairly close to where it's going to be, but um, I really just take the top, uh, it's like a thin layer really, go all the way around. Just twirl it up and clip it, just so we can get to those under layers really easily. I'm using this Hot Tools conical iron, oh, and I also forgot, um, really separate it uh, into two sections at the back. And I like to still work from the back to the front. With a conical iron, it's a bit different. Don't hold it like this because then how the heck would you get it around? You have to hold it from, it's plugged in in a weird space in here. Um, you have to hold it downward. You take the back piece. That's just easiest for me. Um, I'm gonna flip down this little thing. And then start from the top. You'll be able to see when I get closer and then just wrap it around. And the ends, I don't wear a glove. I have tried it with a glove and I just don't really think it's, you know, for me it's just not worth it. If you're afraid though that you're gonna burn your hand off, use the glove that comes with it. But with this conical iron, it's really like you get more curl up at the top and then at the bottom it's almost like it's just sort of like a little straighter um, but you do try to get it as close to the bottom as possible. Um, but this way of curling hair is just so fast. Like, 
I guess it's because I'm not spraying each piece. Um, but, but yeah, when I get to the front, hopefully you can see it a little better. Or maybe even when I do it on the other side. Um, but I don't hold it long at all. You can see it just makes sort of little, um, almost like little wavier curls. So start at the top and then you just wrap it down. And try not to overlap the hair on top of each other. Uh, just try to sort of, you see how it's sort of like a corkscrew down the end of the curling iron. So we're almost done with this section. It's just so easy. I'll speed through the next section, so. Okay. No need to hold it on there. If you've got really thick hair, you may need to, although it gets pretty hot, so I don't really see as to like why you'd need to. You can just take smaller sections, you know? Um, oh, so I was going to tell you about the alternate hemp stuff. For this side, it's basically just the same. But what I'm going to do is just wrap it the opposite way. And honestly, that's the way, like, naturally, you know, like, I want to wrap it. Um, just easy. But anyway, so for years, I used the alternate hemp thickening compound, like, way before YouTube. Like, I just have always loved it. It was so strange because, like, all of a sudden, I couldn't find it anywhere. And so... Um, I was told that it was discontinued by people that worked at Ulta, and, um, and I just had figured it was discontinued because, like, you would see it on eBay for, like, seriously, there's, like, they're on eBay for, like, $70, and, you know, people just going crazy. Okay, that one didn't do, well, it did fine, but it was awkward when I pulled it away. Um, so, yeah, so I thought it was for sure discontinued. I would find him on Hot Look sometimes, and that's how I got that one too. It was the one that had like the 30% more. It was like a giant one, and I ordered like four of those um, like two years ago. And um, anyway, so I started using the Bamboo Plumping Strand Expand by the same brand, and it works good too, and it's great, but it's just not the same as that. My cord keeps getting caught on my chair as if it looks awkward um oh a tip with this when you twirl it sometimes it can pull down away you can just kind of you see how I'm kind of just rotating it like a normal curling iron to get it further to the root um anyway so a lot of you said that they were on hot look right now and I thought I've been loving that lately I'm gonna get some more and I went and it was the alterna hemp but it wasn't that particular product it was like the um shampoo and conditioner and they didn't actually have that product okay so you see how it's kind of I'm gonna just like rotate it see and then you can like wrap it one more time um so anyways I was talking about it recently and then one of my subscribers or one of my followers on Twitter actually told me that you can find it on the actual alternate website and so I went there and it said it was out of stock. So I thought, well, you know, it's still, that still may mean that it's like discontinued or whatever. So I emailed them at Alterna and they said that, um, I couldn't really get a good straight answer from them as to if it was discontinued or not. All right. And then you take down, the I'm like telling stories and okay, take down the top and then just do the same as the bottom, separate it into two. And then it should sort of like, I mean, you don't have to unclip every section. It's, it should, just the fact that this is straight and that's curly, it kind of separates itself. I give it a quick brush. But anyways, I could not get a straight answer. And um, the woman that wrote me back said, she wouldn't say if it was discontinued or not, which was kind of frustrating. But she did say that, um, that it was back ordered and they should get more. So, I don't know. I mean, it's just so weird. I mean, to me, I think that they're discontinued. Maybe she just, but it seems strange to me that they would still have it on the website. So I just don't know. So I'm just kind of going through and, um, you see how it kind of makes pretty little curls. And then we're almost finished with this one. Um, I really want, sometimes it can be awkward, like if that is kind of laying down flat and then you do it. So just brush it up one time. So you can kind of get it to lift a little bit before you do that front section because the front sections are the most important and they're usually um, the thinnest so I just do it really fast. You see how crazy fast that was? You can see how the bottoms are a little straighter but it kind of gives you sort of an edgy look and I like that. Um, Alright so then I'm going to do this side and then flip it down. 
It's actually just really easy. I don't know why I always thought it was so like difficult to curl hair with one of these. I think my last one that I had I was just kind of afraid of. But I guess, okay, like see, sometimes it slides down. The best thing to do is just to start it as close to the top as you can. That's just the best tip. See, I hate this little thing. That's the only thing I hate about these. I keep having to flip it down because when I lay it on my counter, it doesn't even touch the counter anyways. So, I think I could probably take that off somehow. A little clip. A lot of them, or the little stand, I mean, um, a lot of those don't even have that. A lot of them are just like, um, yeah. Okay, so, almost done. Oh, my stomach's growling. Gotta eat lunch. Okay. And... I'll do this into two sections. Sometimes to get like even more lift at the front, I separate it like not left to right like that, but like top to bottom. I'll create like two pieces. So, really pretty. See, that one could have been closer to the top, but it's okay. See how fast? I mean, it's just crazy. And mine isn't even turned all the way up. Um, usually for curling irons, I do turn mine all the way up and I've never had any like damage or anything. I just use a good heat protectant. Um, but I don't know for this one, I do turn down a little bit because these irons scare me, especially <laughs> we've all seen the video. I don't have to tell you. Okay. So I kind of always separate that before it cools. <laughs> and let it cool and you can see it's like very much smaller very much sm smaller ringlets than I'm usually working with um, so I just sort of like fluff it with my fingers a little and do the same on the other side and you see it kind of creates this wavy like meow, texture and then um, I just lightly brush through any of the rest on the top that looks then we're gonna fluff it up and style it in a minute so it's gonna look better so and it really doesn't like even when I ever curl my hair it really doesn't come to life until after I've curled it or after I've after I brush it and then let it sort of I don't know it sort of fluffs up and gets even curlier um, so, you can see it's just a different look, like it's a different wavy, sort of curly texture. I really like it. Okay, so, and mine will fall a little bit, but really it doesn't do all that much. Um, throughout the day it'll get a little calmer, but the volume will pretty much stay there if you spray it. Um, this one little piece looks a little too defined. I'm using my Bamboo Style Ultra Hold Hairspray. This is actually the first time I've sprayed this on my hair. I showed it in my... Ooh, it smells good. Maybe it's because I'm used to that Tresemme and it smells like hairspray. You know, typical old hairspray smell. Mmm, this smells good. It smells almost like floral, like... I want to say like gardenias? No, that would be too good. I don't know what this is. It smells funny. Good funny. One piece is just weird right there. Okay. I always like to fluff up this part in the back. Okay. If you have shorter hair, if you have longer hair, this is just really fun. It's just a different, different sort of look. I like it. I've even seen where you can sort of like take each piece and twist it first and then twist it around. And it gives even a different look. But you see, these are just like really volumized waves, curls, waves, I don't know. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Don't be afraid of those curling irons. Give it a shot. Um, it does take a couple times to get used to just like holding it different. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope that you guys have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.